Namaste from incredible India. I am here sitting at the River Ganges in Rishikesh. This is Esnadi from Restore Your Life. I want to share some things with you at this beautiful place. It's a beautiful energy here. And I want to talk about healing and how healing can help us to become a beautiful, uh, loving person that is really the utmost happiest form of our soul and of our body. And how it helped me in this healing process when I restored my own life. And you know the saying, um, count your blessings. And when you count your blessings, I did not know when I got breast cancer that I was having a blessing. Because at that time, um, I did not see it as a blessing because I was totally um, not seeing it that way. But afterwards, I know because of that disease, I had to do something about my life. I had to change it. I had to do some healing. I had to really get into touch with my body. And so it was a blessing. And I started my process of internal finding happiness in there instead of finding it outside of myself so with that process when i restored my own life i learned so much and now i can help others to do this and to help them to restore their life and it's really a beautiful job to do um, it comes from my heart and because of I have this experience, I have a, a lot of knowledge now about healing and I, and I know what it is to have a disease and to have something with your body and your mind and your soul that, is, um, that really needs attention. So that way it is um, a whole process of your path because when you were born here on earth and you have a path, you have a dharma to do, you have a, a duty to do here to, to have all your talents used. And if you're not doing your job, let's say you have a, a burnout and you don't know uh, anymore what, what path you should follow and your mind is, is uh, giving you restless uh, thoughts and you can't sleep well and all these kind of things, that is also a blessing because a burnout would te is telling you literally, uh, see when clients come to me and I help them with a burnout, we'll go sit down and we'll they talk about what is happening in your life? What are you actually doing? Are you listening to your body? Are you positive about life? Are you doing really the things that you want to do? Is your heart speaking? Or are you just doing a regular thing that you're supposed to do because the community wants you to do this? Um, are you doing something from your heart? And all those components, um, when I help somebody, when people come to me and I help them, we'll sit down and we'll look at all three different components. How's your body doing? How's your mind doing? And how's your soul doing? So all those components are equally uh, involved in your health, in a good healing process. Because healing process is about all those three components. And so when we look at the healing of the body, first of all, um, we need to get your body into balance, into eating the right foods, eating sattvic foods where there's a lot of prana in it, where your cells will be more happy to help you to restore your life. Um, your habits also, when are you eating and all this kind of things and what are you eating. So we'll sit down and have a look at the eating. Uh, do you like to cook for yourself for instance? Do you like to take the time because nowadays we have such a rush in our lives that we forget to cook for ourselves. And cooking for yourself is a medicine. To do it, to cook it, is a healing process because you're cooking it and you're loving yourself because you're eating something fresh. So the body, first of all, I will have a look at that. And of course, Ayurveda taught me all these things about healing. Um, but I extended even all my knowledge uh, even further than Ayurveda because I lived around the world and so every continent taught me something and every culture taught me some other backgrounds uh, about healing and about your body, mind and soul. The mindset. I will really sit down with a person and capture and, and, and mirror them because everything is a mirror um, for the person and 
make them realize what their subconscious mind is telling them. So healing the uh, subconscious mind that you're not conscious of is very important. Uh, for instance, when you're sleeping and you're dreaming and you get a message in your dream, uh, that is all a message from your subconscious mind because your normal brain is not telling you anything uh, about fears or anything. It is really your soul giving you a message. But then you wake up in the morning and you think, wow, I had this dream. There was a message. And then your mind tries to make something out of it. So we have to focus on what is this mind trying to tell you? Because healing is a lot about the mindset. The mindset is very, very important. Because if I would tell myself, oh, I feel ugly, of course I will feel ugly. If I feel, wow, I'm beautiful and I'm totally accepting the body that I have and I'm, I'm happy with that, and then you will shine that body. So it really the mindset is this really second thing that I really sit down with my clients and, and give them a mirror. It's like, why do you find yourself not attractive? So we're gonna look in that subconscious mind what kind of fears there are. Are you not able to show yourself? Um, what kind of fears there? Did somebody ever tell you some something about you're not looking good and you you're really like, oh my God, somebody doesn't like me or doesn't feel me, uh, see me or I'm not beautiful. And then your mindset is going, so everybody should uh, not like me or not find me beautiful. So then your, your mind made up like, okay, I should hide because um, I'm not feeling beautiful. So we try to get and puzzle with this person. Why is this mindset bugging you? So we try to go in the subconscious mind. We, we can do that in many forms. We can do healing and we um, I'll feel with this person where the pain is. So we'll go and find the pain. See, I like to puzzle with uh, the people that I help. And we'll go sit down and say, okay, where is this pain coming from? Where is this um, annoyance or fear? See, there's really two ways the mind works. And the mind works. It's either a love-based thought or it's a fear-based thought. Fear-based, we have a lot of components. We have like, let's say, jealousy, um, insecurity. Um, we have many pains that, um, that are there. Maybe in childhood, your father said, oh, you, you look really terrible in that dress. So you, you decide never to wear a dress again because if your father tells you that, that is just too much. And you, so you decide you're never gonna wear that dress. So fear-based thoughts are really the basis of all our problems because if it's a love-based thought um, and you find yourself beautiful, you will wear that dress with the beauty, you will shine your goddess. When we realize we have two thoughts, fear and love, that is really the basic what I use when I'm working with a client. So that is really kind of digging into old programming because we are all born with certain, uh, we are raised a certain way, and we're raised in a certain cultural way because we have, of course, a lot of cultural differences. So we're going to look at your mirror. Uh, what is this mirror telling you? Another one, if another person tells you like, oh, you look ugly, that is your mirror. And what do you do with this? See, if you already shine, it doesn't matter if 100 people tell you you look ugly because you know you shine. So this is how the mind works. So we're going to work on this mind programming. And that's very important. That's the basis of being ill. Because if you find yourself um, like, let's say you find yourself tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so tired. So what is your body going to do? It's just going to react. Oh, I feel so tired. So that's basically how it works. So if you say, wow, I have so much energy and I feel great. I'm like the sunshine. Then you will shine it. Then your cells, they are listening. So you, you talk to your body. So it's even that easy. But you need to work on the pains level. So that is part of the healing process. And so working on that mindset, because when you look at our soul, we're connected with all our chakras. So being aligned with all the chakras is very important. And the more you heal yourself, you can heal all your chakras and all the layers. Let's say you're afraid to speak your truth. That is all in your, on your throat chakra. So when you learn to heal your throat chakra, then you can also learn to speak your truth. Uh, to say what you want to say and to say what your soul uh, wants to bring to the world and 
of course, we all have our talent. So if you're speaking your truth, then your, your throat chakra is really healed. And then you're, you're shining and, and then all your other chakras, you can align it. And then you're more aligned with your Atma, with your soul. And that is the third component, the Atma. Your soul, which is always connected from, let's say, the heavens and into earth. And I don't speak about religion, I'm speaking about love. And love is everything. Love is the component that everybody has in them. And love comes from source. God, however you want to call it, it is source. That is where we come from. And we are only here in our body. This is, everybody has his vessel. And um, actually we are only light and love. And when you start to realize that, you can start your awakening process and understanding all the downloads you get from uh, this, the, the universe that is going to, to help you, because there's help everywhere around, called energy, let's call it energy, um, to help you to have more of a higher vibration. So the more you align your chakras, and the more you align with your higher self, you will be aligned more with your higher knowing and then you will channel that easier. Um, once you start channeling, you are listening to your higher self. And that way your higher self is telling you, okay, you have all these components, you have all these talents, and what are you coming to do here? So once you get to know what your path is, as we call it, once you are doing your talents, you will know because your heart will shine it's like, wow, I like to work with textiles and I'm having fun and I forgot all the time and I'm, wow, the, you know, all these colors and everything. And you know from your heart, you're really doing what you like to do. So then you know your higher self is, is fully shiny and, and you see our higher self actually is always happy. Uh, it's only our mind that thinks, oh, maybe I should not work with the textiles because, you know, maybe people won't like my products. And then you're doubting yourself. So you're bringing your energy down to a lower negative vibes. And actually there's energy around all of us. So we bring our own vibes down. And what is your body going to say? Oh, okay, then I also go down in the energy. So the mind is very important part of the healing because when you put your mind into love and light and what you want to do and your passion I always say if everybody would do what they love to do and do their passion the world would change like that because everybody would be happy and everybody's different so never try to be somebody else because you have your own confidence you are the one that is good at this or that and so when we look at the body, mind and soul, it's all one balanced field. So when you have that all in balance and your chakras, everything, and you can get your dharma, artha, kama and moksha, you will have your line of um, what you came to do, what you want to bring to the world, what kind of qualities do you want to bring to others. Uh, for me, that is helping others. And for me, this blessing of breast cancer really made me go inside and find my own balance in all this. And I just want to share with everybody how this balance can be, can be done, how this balance can be achieved um, from your heart. So every time it's a matter of self-love, a matter of going inside again and again. I'm not saying it's an easy road to go because everybody has components in it that are tough. I mean, I had really tough components in my life that I thought, wow, how am I going to go through this? But then my mind was always positive, always positive. Okay, there must be a way to become happy. And then I saw happy people said, how do you do this? I was curious. It's like, what are they doing? And then I learned to listen, for instance, to a good vibrational music. So the healing of the energy of music is very important. And um, so I also recommend that the people listen to beautiful vibrations and don't listen to songs that are negative in, 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 in singing like, oh, I don't feel good today. Then, then you won't feel good that day because your subconscious mind will pick up all these vibes. Even if you look at the TV, 
And whatever they're telling there, even if you're not watching, your unconscious mind is picking up all the energy, also from the radio, from all the places. So try to listen to very high vibrational uh, vibrations. Um, I mean, there's a lot to see now on the internet and it is a healing, it is a healing sound. So like Einstein already said, everything is energy. So energy is all around us. The river Ganges, it's energy. It has such a high vibrational energy. And um, it is a healing process. So there's so many things that can be healing for you. You just be curious. That's one component. Be curious and go ask the people that already done it. And I love to help you with it if you want. And I'm here for you. And um, we'll go and have a look what is the best part for you because everybody has their own path and their own pace. So you cannot say, oh, I have to be there tomorrow. No, some people will take a lifetime to get there. And some people, uh, well, I did, I really went fast in this because I was so curious and I was so like, like a fire going, I want to know this, I want to get this done and get this done. And okay, what else can I do? And that was my path. And my path is now to teach others. And I love it. And I'm doing this with passion and the love is just flowing. And I love myself now. And like, I have so much love to give and I have so much healing to give. I do healing also with people with energies and just with their bodies because then the body can also keep up with their uh, new way of uh, being. And this is what I wanted to share with you. And um, remember the three components, body, mind and soul. And then um, restore your life. Reunite with your true self because you are, as a soul, always a happy child inside. So go find your happy child inside. I love you very much. This is Esnadi from Rishikesh, from incredible India. I love it here. Namaste.